What's up guys, JV2017 here and I've got another interesting commentary to talk with you guys about today. So, I want to talk about uh, basically whether the support strike package was a failure or not. You know, is you know, is it a success for Infinity Ward? You know, is it a really good kind of innovation to the COD franchise? And, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyways, the reason I think I'm kind of approaching this topic is because I don't know if you guys knew there was a recent Black Ops 2 leak. I was going to do a video about it, but I think I was just like a lazy mofo and I was like, eh, I don't know. But uh, I'm sure, I'm guessing, I'm just assuming most of you guys have seen the leak. But the leak said that Black Ops 2 would have the support system back in it. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to talk with you guys about, you know, kind of my thoughts on the support strike package. And uh, whether I think it's a fail or not. And let me give you the quick answer. Yes and no. Uh, well, first off, let's talk about the whole premise of a support strike package. When I first heard of this, I was like... Yes, because I'm one of those people in Modern Warfare 3, if I try hard, and actually this isn't 100% true, probably for the first month, I tried my very hardest and pulled about a 2.3 KD, which I consider pretty good, better than average. But, you know, there's a point in which you get too frustrated with so much bullshit that I, I just hit that breaking point, and now my KD sits at about 1.3 because I fuck around a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing around, wrong with, you know, screwing around and blah, blah, blah. But, anyways, just to let you know. Also, by the way, the gameplay, uh, I go 38 and 8. So, this is almost a 5KD gameplay. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. And, uh, it is slightly campy towards the middle as I'm trying to keep my kill streak, Even though I'm just running 3-5-7 with the Assault Strike Package. Anyways, so back to the topic at hand. You know, uh, I started out super try-hard, but then I just hit that breaking point where I was like, fuck it. But, you know, before the game even came out, I was already on board with support. I was like, this is what we've been needing. We need COD to kind of, you know, blend into the team player kind of gaming FPS crowd, I guess you could say. And, you know, great examples of team-based, you know, FPSs would be Battlefield 3, Halo, Team Fortress... You know, games like that, incredible, you know, Strike, uh, is Counter-Strike team-based? I don't even know, because I haven't played Counter-Strike. I know a lot of you guys are like, <gasps> what? Yeah, no, I haven't. Um, I just wasn't born in that era of, yeah, I, guess, I guess that's not an excuse. Anyways, so yeah, I think that's kind of what, you know, support was their attempt at, you know, making people more team player oriented. And what do I think support is today? Uh, all I see is my friends and sometimes I, we all complain about support. And I'm just, I'm just trying to think, why are we complaining about support? And most of the complaints are simply, you know, oh, you shouldn't have a stealth bomber, a killing, you know, something that has the potential to get quads and quints and whatever the fuck a six kill is. You know, you shouldn't have something like that in the support package because it takes no skill to get, you know, a, a, a stealth bomber in support or it takes no skill to get an EMP. And I, I have, honestly, I have conflicting ideas on this and I can't really take one side or the other. On one side, you know, I understand that. You know, some people think that the stealth bomber should be in the assault and... Like I said, part of me agrees with that. You know, the Stealth Bomber is super, super, super powerful. And it's incredibly annoying to m meet a team of all support players that are all running Stealth Bombers. Because you're constantly getting Stealth Bombered over and over and over and over. And it's just really, really irritating sometimes. And the other side of me is thinking, you know what, hey, that's a great idea. You know, reward these guys who play the objective, who you know, don't really need to worry about their KD because their main focus is capping flags or, you know, you know, capping B flag or returning a flag and capture the flag or planting a bomb and demolition, even though I don't, I don't think you get a point for planting. I, I don't even remember. Anyways, so, you know, those players, I, I think, you know, people that try that hard really, really deserve a stealth bomber, you know? It, it's, it's kind of, you know, it evens out their KD and I think that's what uh, Infinity War was thinking of when they thought of this support kind of street, you know, strike package kind of system. And also, you know, there was, in Modern Warfare 2, there was a clear 
you know, set of streaks that would always get you a nuke. It was always Harrier, Chopper Gunner, or AC-130. And, uh, I think. Harrier, Chop... Okay, so, 7 11, 25 So it'd be Harrier and uh, Chopper Gunner slash AC-130, whichever one you wanted. And then it would be, um, what do you call it? Nuke. That was basically it. And that was like the killing machine motherfucker badass <laughs> strike package. Or, sorry, point... Uh, not point streak, kill streak. It was not even called a point streak until this game. But anyways, yeah, you know, I can see both sides of that. But something about the EMP really, really pisses me off. Um, you know, recently, a bunch of buddies in my, we all got in a lobby of like a full team of ground war. And we all put EMP in our clan tag and started running EMPs. I think a few of you guys noticed that and put it in the comments below. I don't think we have it. I don't think I have that clan tag this game. I have another one. But, um... Anyways, that was our version of trolling the other team because we'd all call in EMPs. We all, like, nine people. If you're in a ground war match and you're playing against nine people that are all running EMPs and they're all, you know, you know, decent to pretty good players, you're screwed. You're going to get EMP'd so much that entire game. And I just don't know if that's, you know, if that's the best thing, you know, to have. You know, an EMP is super, super incredibly strong. And, uh, I don't know, sometimes I feel completely, uh, ratted out when I get EMP'd over and over and over by another team. And I'm just like, really? Fuck, I can't call in my kill streaks. are you kidding me? And like I said, if you run into a full team of EMP running support players, you're not gonna call anything in. And, uh, you know, on one side, that's probably pretty good, you know, so it keeps it more of a gun-on-gun -gun game. But at the same time, you're working for those hard kill streaks. You know, you're you're playing very defensively, and it, it just sucks sometimes. But um, anyways, those are kind of my thoughts on the support streak. And, you know, I, I, I really like some of the things that have come out of support, though. Like, Ballistic Vest is pretty cool, although it sucks, you know, when you, when you die. But it's really cool when you use it. You know, it's one of those things. And, uh, you know, UAV, Counter UAV, Advanced UAV, you know, all of these cool kind of uh, mechanics, you know, SAM turret. Let's see, there was another thing I was thinking of, but I can't remember, that's in that, uh, oh, Recon Drone, even if it is really annoying, it's added this whole other, whole other kind of, you know, aspect to, I guess, playing COD, you know, you're flying around a little UAV kind of system, you know, a Recon Drone's pretty cool. Uh, one complaint about the Recon Drone. Why in the hell can you not get a recon drone, and then while you have it out, why can't you run around and start cutting people with the recon drone, like, helicopter blades? Why is that not a thing? Come on, Infinity Ward. Let's do this. Come on. Everybody, we need to, like, sign a petition to get this shit done. We need to be able to melee people with the recon drone. That would be the most fantastic thing ever. That would be almost as cool as shocking people with the EOD bot in Battlefield 3. Uh, speaking of Battlefield 3, I'm going to probably post some Battlefield 3 very soon because I got on for the first time in a few months and started playing with friends. And the first few days of Battlefield 3 being out was a really, it was kind of a really bad precedent because the game didn't even work. But now that it does work, and even if I do go 2 and 15, I have so much fun. Because when I do get killed, I'm like, wow, that was a really skilled sniper that sniped my head off from 500 yards. Anyways. Yeah, let's let's get back to Modern Warfare 3. Anyways, so what do you guys think of the support, you know, strike package? Did this whole system work? Is it a fail? Is it a good thing? Do you want it to be in the next Modern Warfare if there is another Modern Warfare? Do you want it to be in Black Ops 2? You know, let me know what you guys think and uh, let me know if you think stealth bombers and uh, EMPs are kind of a fair kind of thing in uh, support because a lot of people debate that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and I will talk to you later. Peace. And now for two more videos on my channel that you might have missed. First off on the left is where I talk about Activision and how I just realized, you know, lately that Activision is just a complete money whore. They're not letting Infinity Ward and Treyarch do what they really want to do as far as innovating the game. So if you'd like to see that video, click on the annotation on the left. On the right is my April Fool's 2012 joke video. I show you how to get a ray gun in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. It's quite funny. If you want to have a good laugh, click that video on the right if you want to see it. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter for more updates on what I'm uploading. You can subscribe to my channel in the bottom right for more videos. So, talk to you guys later. Peace.